Thank you, PM Modi. Search and research are the foundations to improve our knowledge and wisdom. I attempted this to enhance the design and aesthetics of my script and speech. When I thought about the subject, beautifying my speech under researching and presenting, the person that immediately came to my mind was this person, a great motivating speaker, an educational speaker, a trainer on business English and software skills and soft skills as well. He is the current president of our Tamil Nadu Chennai Solvendar Mandram. You got him. He is none other than our DTM Patabi Rama. He is the source, the resource for this research. You know him as well as a great communicator, glorifying, dignifying, and beautifying his speech. Hence, I have chosen him as the expert to guide me on this speech. My dear Toastmasters and guests, let me first present the old script before beautifying it, before applying the techniques given by our TTM Patabiram. The speech goes like this. I want to become a successful speaker in Toastmasters clubs. But I am afraid to speak. I have a lot of difficulties in speaking. But I have to try. I have a lot of time. But I am not a sincere person. I am a lazy person. But I have the hope. I tried and tried. And at last, now I am before you, in front of you all guys, to give this speech. This was my first script. Please don't go away. After listening to the speech, please don't go away from the Zoom room. I am going to beautify this speech by applying the figures of speech. You would have heard about these figures of speech. Simile, metaphor, pun, alliteration, assonance, hyper, hyperbole, oxymoron, personification, paradox, irony, etc. Now I am going to apply all these figures of speech into that previous speech. Before that, let me explain what this means. Simile is nothing but comparison of words, comparison of two things using the word like. If you remove that like, that is metaphor. And pun is some amusing word. And alliteration is same. You are repeating the same consonant with different words. And then assonance is with different words, but same vowel sounds. And hyperbole, that is exaggeration. And then irony, that is saying something and meaning something else. And then oxymoron, contradictory statements. And then personification, referring something to some person. You are personifying a thing as a person. And then paradox, contrary opinions. So I am going to apply all these things into my speech, that the earlier speech. What was the first line? I want to become a successful speaker in Toastmasters Club. I applied this simply. I want to roar like a lion in this Toastmasters Club. Then comes the next line. But I am afraid to speak in front of these Toastmasters. I changed it by applying the pun, an amusing word. But I am a cat in front of this tiger Toastmasters. Like that, I have applied all these figures of speech. Now the speech becomes like this. I want to roar like a lion in this Toastmasters club. But I feel that I am a cat in front of this tiger Toastmasters. It is a very, very difficult, disturbing, distressing situation for me. 
that is alliteration. Then I applied the asanas. But I know that there is no gain without pain. Then I applied the hyperbole, that is exaggeration. It is difficult for me, but I have lots, loads and loads of time with me to practice, to learn, to learn and practice. That is hyperbole. And then something I want to say with different meanings. I am a sincere person, but I am sincere only in procrastinating. Then comes that oxymoron. I am an active person in being lazy. Then comes the personification. But the hope inside me that says, don't lose me, don't lose me. Try, try, try. You will become a successful speaker. There was a tussle between this hope and despair. There was a fight between this aspiration and that laziness. There was a fight between the brain, which is lazy, but the heart, which is aspiring to become a better speaker. At last, the heart won. And I am standing before with courage, conviction to present this speech. So how is this one compared to that one? After applying that figures of speech, I have beautified the speech. As I, as I got all the suggestions from our DTM, Patabi Raman, I call it as patify. You patify the speech to beautify the speech. Are you ready to patify, to beautify? Over to you, TMOD.